y'all welcome to my no makeup makeup look I'm starting off bare face before applying this Neutrogena visibly even moisturizer all over my face I was in California when I recorded this and I was gonna be in the Sun and this has a SPF 30 so I wanted a good moisturizer on my skin and I applied my primer right over that um, probably not recommended for oily skin but um, my skin is pretty normal so I like to use a really good moisturizer underneath my makeup I am starting off with brows of course using a spoolie to brush them and then I have one eyebrow done if you can tell and I'm applying my second brow um, I didn't have my makeup this day so I went to my mom's drawer in her bathroom which was not the business she had this little ancient eyebrow pencil that I hated so I'm not even gonna name it because I wouldn't use it again sorry mom I have to upgrade you but um, I'm just filling in the natural brow shape um, that I have and filling in the gaps from where I over tweezed and um, it was really heavy so I had to brush it out a lot brush the product into the hairs and I cleaned them up as I would normally this isn't my normal concealer I didn't have it but I'm using the brush that I would normally use max I think this is 195 and cleaning the perimeter of my brows I always um, keep my same brow shape I get some flat for my eyebrows on Instagram but hey y'all I was born with this shape and I refuse to shave off half my brow to please nobody so I'm just following my natural shape and cleaning around them with some concealer and since this isn't my color I had to blend it in a lot with my finger that's the best way to um, make sure it's really blended it's by using your finger opposed to the brush So once you're done cleaning with the concealer, you want to go back in with the spoolie and make sure that the product is blended into your brows evenly and um, you know rub any excess concealer with your finger as I said before. Um, for this makeup look, since I wanted to keep it natural, I used brown sugar F7 with my Boleto Studio airbrush system. I kept the setting on medium. This is a great um, option to use if you don't want to have the cake face as they say. Um, it's very natural. It never looks like I have anything on my face, but it's just a thin veil that I use. I don't keep track of how many drops I use because sometimes I have to add more as I go if I don't feel like I have enough coverage. But, you know, the purpose is to kind of hide just very subtle blemishes. Um, it doesn't, I don't really use it for full coverage. So I keep it a few inches away from my face and I go into all the areas that I would normally with my foundation. Everywhere except my eye eyebrows, basically. And uh, make sure you get your neck and um, you can go in a little bit closer to um, concentrate on, a little, on areas a little bit more. But I wouldn't go too, too close because you will see streaking if you're too close. So do as much as needed. Um, it's all about preference. Um, I just did a thin veil for this day. And uh, once the product was out, I kind of let the air just blow it dry. And this is my before and after. I do not use filters on my YouTube video. So this is... Real wrap raw. <laughs> Real wrap raw footage right here. Anyways, um, yeah, so that was it for my foundation portion. And I just went in a little bit with my mineralized skin finish in dark um, to pat the powder in my T-zone, like underneath my eyes, down my nose, forehead. Because I was going to be in the sun, like I said. So I wanted to make sure that those areas were set. But you can probably skip this step if you have um, dry skin using the airbrush system. You don't want to put too much powder over it. I'm using the same powder and I'm just applying that all over my eye area because I'm not using any eyeshadow for this look. And I'm using um, Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Precision Liner for my wingtip. It's very quick and easy to apply when you're on the go. And um, it has a very thin precision tip so I love that liner when I'm rushing. And I used Siren Lashes from House of Lashes. Um, not your average natural lashes so you can always go with a different pair that are um, a little more subtle but I kind of wanted the emphasis to be on my lashes and my lips so I love these lashes when I don't have eyeshadow on just because you know they play up the look a little bit but you know your choice anyways once the glue dried I used um, Tarte's um, mascara as well to blend my real lashes into the falsies and a little thin layer on my bottom lashes I didn't do any pencil liner as I would normally. I use Max Format um, in place of where I would normally contour. I had to flatten out a blush brush because I didn't have my contour brush. And I'm applying this, I think it's Gentle by MAC. It's a, a mineralized blush. It might have been limited edition, but I did about two layers since it's really subtle onto the apples of my cheeks. And for my lips, finally, I use NYX Fuchsia Liner with Lime Crimes Utopia Velveteen. I just line my lips with the liner first. These colors are like pretty much exact, so this is a good um, liner to pair with the Utopia. A lot of people ask me how I line my lips and 
how I create my shape. I don't really create a shape. I just stay in the natural lines of my lips. So, um, yeah, that's what I do. And I'm filling them in with the Utopia Lime Crime. And you want to do this quickly because it will dry. And um, it works just like a matte lipstick, but it starts off liquid. I love this color, Utopia Lime Crime. But that was pretty much it for the whole look, guys. Um, this is about as natural as I get when I do my no makeup makeup looks. Um, so, yeah, if you want to see anything else, make sure you leave it in the comments for what you want to see for my next video. Also, make sure you check out my description box for all my promo codes. I do have a promo code for this Boleto Airbrush System, so make sure you check for that. And if you want to see another before and after, check out my blog, MissEllery.com, where I have another review on this bomb system. As always, thank you guys for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Smooches!